thank you dr halima for uh, one more opportunity regarding now this is about employability skills and uh, this is like i will not going to get uh, take your lot of time because mine is kind of a wild card entry i entered towards the end of this uh, session but no worries i quickly talk about like uh, yeah one of the important topic when it's uh, coming to employability uh everybody heard about it everybody knows about it at least word what is the meaning of that and all those things so ai i like to talk about ai artificial intelligence and uh, people know few things about ai some uh, basic idea about that and one fear as well like it may replace my job okay this is worldwide it is not limited to any uh, specific skill or any specific uh, employability related stuff or any specific job it's like worldwide any job uh, now it is affecting but i like to talk about that it's not like a means like it is totally replacing the things there are few good points as well and uh, we can actually uh, enhance our uh, employability with that okay so one of the very important thing i like to uh, means like we can talk about right now is about like uh, those one of the thing is like people feel that ai may uh, replace them but basically ai is a tool to enhance human capabilities i don't have any presentation today i'm just talking about like let's talk just one small topic and one concern about that okay so first thing ai is like a here to enhance human capabilities okay it is not to replace uh, humans that's the first thing and one of the thought which is like a very common nowadays uh, like the thing uh, people talking about like it is not going to replace the uh, people who knows this uh, like ai actually it is going to replace the people those who don't know ai how to use it how to make most of it okay so that's what uh, we need to do so employability skills comes here so we need to go above ai okay we need to know few things regarding ai like uh, there are a lot of things like uh, uh, which will directly affect like a uh, say design thinking or there are a few more things like uh, say machine learning okay machine learning is one of the very important integral part of ai so if you start learning about that machine learning coding okay which is not difficult nowadays even your ai will teach you chat gpt will teach you the coding part okay so even if you are not a technical person if you are not software person uh if you have, don't have any knowledge about any technical things still you can learn the coding but that's not the only thing problem solving okay even that skill that is not anything related to it's not a technical skill but problem solving is one of the very important skill you can acquire and which will help you to work with ai okay so that's one of the thing apart from that soft skills okay so soft skills like critical thinking creativity so many people feel that like uh, ai can now generate the some images even videos but i am trying that uh, my own nowadays and it's not that easy and that's not free first of all okay and even after doing that we need some creativity to give uh, give it a proper shape and all those things and even to give a proper uh, like a command or the prompt they call it as so giving uh, to give a right prompt to the ai or to the uh, chat gpt is very important for that you need creativity inside you okay so you can develop that creativity if you have that creativity already you are artist or something you can use to enhance your art okay so that that is another uh, part of ai so first uh, the message i like to give here is don't fear about the ai it make most of it and it will definitely help you uh, earn more uh, level up your in in your career and yes that's ai here to help you okay to make uh, grow rich in your life okay and there are examples like i am a part of mechanical industry as well and there are a lot of areas nowadays like companies like jaguar landor or uh, uh, 
uh, BMWs, they started using uh, AI into their quality control areas. And those people already working, they are only uh, trained on the new technologies and they are working with the new technologies, how to gather the data, how to effectively gather the data and use it effectively. Even in like a healthcare industry, they, they are now uh, like uh, using this uh, data, data science, AI, and then they are enhancing their healthcare services. And last but very important, uh, imagine education industry up till now, even today, there are like, if you go into the school or even colleges, even a IIMs, there is like one book for all. Okay. It's not like a, a, whether a bright student, average student or little low student for everyone. There is a one syllabus, one book, but imagine with AI there, there is a possibility of personalized learning. So everybody will have a, a different, different level of uh, learning. Uh, for them as per their capabilities. That is only possible with AI. Okay, and AI will do this in near future, very early stage uh, right now it is, but uh, soon there will be personalized learning in various schools, colleges. So that will be a uh, added advantage and we need to enhance those skills, our skills to use that thing. Means like how to, how then uh, like uh, AI will adapt this personalized learning, we need to learn those things, okay? So that's, I think everything about uh, like one of the employability skill is to grow with AI. That's what my today's message I will say. Yes, Dr. Alima, thank, thank you. you for this thank you very much, Mr. Rahul. It was really very beneficial information about AI and about <coughs> the fear of AI. So there is nothing to worry because God has created the human being as the crown of all creation. And AI is also created by human being. It is not that something has come from the space and then we are fearful of that. It's not alien. So that naturally everything is for the benefit of humanity as far as we are using the, with the right intention. Intention makes everything useful or harmful. Let us make the good intention of using all these technological advancement and make the, this world a better place. Thank you very much, Mr. Rahul. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am just simply throwing one question to you all. Uh, can you all just answer one small question uh, that will be on your screen? Just let me do it. Okay, let me just ask the question in the through chat box itself. Can you all uh, question and answer this question that colleges are teaching all the required employability skills? Yes or no? Colleges are teaching all the required employability skills. No, 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 no. Yes, you are very right. And that's the reason why we all are here. And that's the reason why somebody from Pune, somebody from Maldives, somebody from UAE, and I from Dubai, we are assembled here to just think about this, that how we can help in the better way. So my dear friends, whatever I'm going to share with you all, the orientation on the course of employability skills, it's not one day task. It's not one month task. It is like, I can say whatever experiences I have and my team have, Everybody has contributed in this and uh, we have interviewed the youth, the youngsters, the college students, and we try to find out that what exactly is the problem when they come out of the college and universities and when they step into the job market. And then we have prepared this. This is a very short and brief course, although I know that to go into the depth, we require minimum six months. Uh, but maybe after this, if you need that, yes, there is a requirement of six months, we can even uh, have the advanced course as well, but this is the basic course. So this is the basic course and uh, here is my message to you all. I'm not going to read because once this will be given to you, uh, this uh, pamphlet, you all can read that this is the message from the heart to reach to all the participants heart. Now, Edufam International Academy's background, like this is the institution where we advocate for the leadership. Now you all must be thinking that EduFam is doing in the field of leadership, how come employability has come into the picture? 
so let me tell you that there is a deep connection between leadership and employability a leader is the one who first of all is responsible for his own life and then after being successful in his own field in his own life he reaches out to the people and to make them successful to help them out so if you are not successful in your own life how you are going to feel you how you are going to help the other people like if you have empty jug how you are going to fill the mugs of other people first you have to fill your own jug that's why here comes that how we can empower the people through financial independence and employment is the first step of that without employment without uh, being financially strong financially independent we uh, the leadership is not perfect the leadership is not complete that's why we have a vision for this course and the vision is that empowering individuals with the skills and knowledge to thrive in a dynamic job market and we are working on five missions skill enhancement career readiness personal growth industry relevant knowledge and networking opportunities so these are five promises five mission that we are working on that if we are talk about course outline so the course is for one month and this one month you will not have every day classes you will have the classes on weekends saturday and sunday but throughout the week you will be engaged into practical activities into hands on experiences into different assignments given to you so it is full one month course with eight live classes 16 hours instruction that is divided into eight classes and this course will utilize a combination of video classes and live zoom sessions as well if we talk about the modules the modules are first lesson is going to be on self assessment and identif identifying career goals because most of us are still not clear what it, exactly i want to go like suppose if you have done your uh, bcom so bcom also has lots of avenues so exactly in which field you want to go where is your niche where is your interest where is your destination what is your dream so this first lesson will be on the self assessment and identifying the career goal and then understanding the modern job market then after that second lesson is going to be skill enhancement identifying and developing key employability skills and setting a skill development plan this plan the format of the plan the table of the plan personalized plan for individual participants will be given to them so that without planning it is said that 60% to 80% is planning and only 20 to 20 to 30% is execution when we lack planning then naturally all our uh, all our endeavors all our attempts are fail it it's not going to be successful so planning is important then lesson 3 is going to be resume building as dr zia has already said that in uae in maldives in uk in usa every country has their own particular requirement of the resume and you will be uh, you will be demonstrated that which type of resume is required and then you will be getting a specific uh, job application uh, requirement and then you will be taught that how to make your resume that is attractive enough to get the job then how to write the cover letters for the job search because one cover letter is not going to help in all the job search so effective cover letters then strategies for the job searching lesson 5 is going to be networking and personal branding we have to build a professional network you will be helping how you can be the part of the professional network lesson 6 is going to be interview skills you will be prepared for the job interviews and mock interview will also be there by the industry specialists will be invited and they will be you will be appearing for the mock uh, interview lesson 7 is going to be soft skill and workplace etiquette and here soft skill already uh, uh, our guest uh, mr saeed ahmed has already explained what all are the soft skill how to develop those soft skill will be taught here and lesson 8 will be follow up and continued growth sending post interview thank you notes planning for ongoing career development and in this way these eight uh modules and lessons will be completed this is the schedule for the october and then uh, as per this schedule you will be having the live courses <coughs> before we start the first lesson on uh, first lesson we are going to start on 7th october before that you all will get the chance to 
uh, one to one uh, with the course leader because in one to one we will try to understand you understand your aspiration understand your goal understand your capability understand your uh, skill sets and then accordingly we can advise and we can plan for you uh, what is suitable for you for your career so for one to one i request all those who have already completed the formalities for the admission you please please uh, i we will be sending you one link you please write the time and date where within this week before Saturday so that we can make ourselves available to you and then we can have one-to-one -one session. You will get half an hour time with the expert where you can discuss each and everything about your career goal and about your ambition and how they are going to help you because without knowing, without diagnostic test conducting on the cap applicants and on the candidates, we cannot have uh, one shoe fits for all. Because when you go to the doctor, what doctor does, doctor also first asks you to do some tests and then only doctor advise you, advises you for the medication. Similarly, once you have come for this course, first we have to understand you. First, you, we should know about you, about your inner strength, about your qualification, about what you lack and what is your strength. Then only we can advise. Now, the most importantly, and we are proud of that methodology we adopt during our lessons, whether it is leadership lessons or whether it is employability lessons, we have something unique that you will not find in the industry. That uniqueness is that our methodology is entirely practical methodology. We connect with the students on daily basis. Like it is not that we have just delivered the lesson on Saturday, Sunday, and then throughout the week, you do whatever you want. There is no connection, no. You will be connecting with the mentors on daily basis through the WhatsApp group. You are going to be the member of that group that is lead house, where you are going to lead your life for this one month. And then there you will be getting the instructions from us. Then weekly two live classes will be conducted and that all will be full of activities, full of hands-on experiences. Then weekly revision by video classes. The same class that you have taken live, the video classes will be given to you so that you can revise the lesson through video and then you can do the assignments or practical tasks that is given based on the video. But that video will be provided only for two days. Like suppose if you have taken live class on Sunday, then you will get Monday and Tuesdays, two days just to go through video and do the assignment. Then again, the access to that video will be, uh, uh, will be taken away. You will not be able to watch that video again. So within two days, you have to complete. Then weekly, you will be assessed through the apps and what apps we are going to use that I am going to explain further. Then one-to-one -one in the beginning, I said that within this week, we have to do one-to-one -one with all the participants, half an hour with each and every participant, one-to-one -one is important. Then one-to-one -one we will do on the last day also, because then we will be understanding you that how much you have gained during this month. And then you will get the certificate for this completion of course. And again, we are going to have doubt clearing session once in a week because I came to know there are certain students who are very comfortable in the mother tongue. They are not very confident about English language. So we will be having separate doubt clearing session once in a month. So once in a week, sorry, I'm very sorry. So that they can join in that and they can understand the things, not only on the language basis, if there is any other doubt with any child that is not very clear to the child, they can join that session, doubt clearing session, and they can clear themselves. Then we will have the buddy system, like not children are not, sorry, not children, students are not going to learn in isolation. They are going to learn in a pair. So they will be provided with one uh, accountable partner that will be buddy. And then with the help of buddy, they are going to learn in a, uh, in a very uh, professional manner. And then face-to-face -face interview, we will conduct with the expert once, during this month, once you will be thorough with the interview skills, we will provide you one mock interview with the industry experts. They will be interviewing you online. So this is our methodology. I hope it is clear. Now what all technology we are going to use, uh, naturally classes are going to be on Zoom. Assessment will be through quizzes app. Then we will use word wall for, the, for our warm up activities and then uh, for other uh, activities inside the class to make the classes more lively and more interactive. Then we will use Mentimeter. Then we will use Google Forms for some of the responses. 
We will use Google Drive for uploading the videos and other things uh, if there is any requirement. And we will use Kahoot for the uh, multiple choice answers type of questions. So these are the technology that we are going to use. And right now I am going to use Mentimeter for you all so that uh, we can understand in a better way that how Mentimeter works. I hope whatever I have explained is clear. After using Mentimeter, you all will get chance to uh, ask the questions. And uh, we will be here to, uh, we will feel honored to answer your questions. So let's go to Mentimeter. I think my screen is visible to you all. So I have, I'm going to copy this link in the chat box. Please click on this. Please click on this link and send your responses as per the question given in this. Please click on this. Yes, I can see there are many who are already responding on this. So what are the gaps between our education and employability? This is the question asked to you and you are supposed to give three responses. I can see the ability to communicate. Okay, then skills are not matching, very good. Okay, that's really very good. So in this way, when you are responding to Mentimeter, whatever is going on in your mind, we can read very easily. Now here I'm not going to ask that who is not able to do this because this is not the classroom. This is just orientation today. We will be answering your questions. If you have any doubts, any questions. So thank you very much for listening. And now we are going to move towards the open discussion. Please raise up your hand if you have any questions. Uh, Mr. Zafar Ahmad Khan Sahab, I would request you if you can add on your insights because you are in this field and you are working since long for the students, for the youth development. Zafar Ahmad Khan Sahab. Then we have here. Uh, Mr. Biswajit Ji, we have here. Mohammad Rehan Ansari. Yes, Mohammad Rehan. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, do you want to share your insights about this? Yes, of course. Yeah, please uh, go ahead. Uh, I would say thanks to everyone for your participation. And uh, then, uh, whatever is explained by Dr. Hetman, I totally agree on that. I can say that uh, uh, in few lines, like our skill sets are not matched with the uh, industry expectation and uh, during our uh, graduation or in college days what we are thinking we will get white collar job we will get blah 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 we have a lot of expectations but while expecting these things are we ready for that we always forget to prepare ourselves for industry ready we are we are mostly avoid the skills which are going to work in the industry. Apart from academics, I'm not against academicians, but I can say that we should look this matter seriously. Like acad academic point of view, we just want to pass the exam. We just want to become the engineer. We just want to do MBA. But while doing these things, we should upskill ourselves. 
to get our desired job. That's all from my side, ma'am. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to uh, express my thought on this. Thank okay, you so thank much. you. Thank you, Rehan. Thank you very much. And now may I request all of you to kindly switch on your video and come and face the camera because it's the first thing to uh, be confident in front of the camera when we are going to the job market. Yes. Yes, Biswajit ji, would you like to share something on this occasion? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. The ma'am, see uh, the way soft skill, hard skill uh, I have learned and uh, we have uh, studied and we have ex experienced to the our practical work and all. The theory, what we have learned, generally from your education background, uh, what we have studied uh, during our courses and all. But uh, uh, industry requirement is something different. And uh, also skills are being different. Uh, which way you should go and uh, which are areas you have to select, that is more important. Because different people having different skills. So generally, uh, choice is important. And there uh, must be somebody to guide you so that uh, the, your choice of uh, area will be your skill area only so that you can prove yourself better and uh, you can be successful in your life. Like uh, somebody is uh, from the pharma background will go for a pharmaceutical company, then he can be productive for the organization as well as that he can prove well. Suppose somebody, uh, I, have, uh, I, I know few of my friends, those having pharma knowledge, but they are working in bank. Some that practical uh, things are not happening. So that sometimes uh, we are not using our actual skill in the areas which we should do. So this is a nice experience. We have uh, learned many things and definitely in times to come, definitely will be uh, useful for everybody. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you for a nice session. And, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jeevji. Thank you very much. Now we have a very special guest, uh, Dr. Anara, who has just joined us. May I request Dr. Anara to kindly, yeah. Dr. Anara is the an author and uh, her book is really a very popular book that is on overthinking and how to overcome that. Uh, you know, mostly we miss the opportunities because we just think, think, think and overthink. Yes, Dr. Anara, please go ahead. Today we are here with the students, those who are going to join our employability skills course so that they can be successful in their lives. Uh, please unmute yourself, Dr. Anara. Um, hello, everyone. I want to uh, welcome all of you. Uh, I participate with one course from Dr. Halima. It was a very wonderful course and uh, it really helped me a lot. And uh, now I am very busy these days. That's why I joined late today. Mm. But uh, I am sure that all the courses that uh, Dr. Halima is given, all the courses are very beneficial for everyone. <laughs> Thank yes. you very much. Actually, Dr. Anara is a ex member of parliament as well. and. Uh, Today only the presidential election is over in Maldives and uh, thankfully her party won and we are expecting Dr. Anara to be the uh, member this time as well. So wish you all the best, Dr. Anara. Thank you very thank much for joining us. Thank yeah. you, thank you very much. Yes, Zafar Sahab, are you, do you want to share? Uh, yeah, Assalamu Alaikum everyone. I am from Nagpur, Maharashtra. Uh, an educationist. I am working in the field of. Uh, I was principal for uh, 35 years in a junior college, and uh, I retired. And then I started my own school and junior college and skill uh, courses. I am doing skill courses of uh, government of India, government of Maharashtra, and almost 50,000 students I have skilled right uh, till now, uh, with the help of uh, the funding from the government of India and government of Maharashtra. We are giving skill uh, in apparel, in healthcare, in uh, plumbing, and in IT sector. Uh, just I uh, gone through the uh, this uh, your uh, um, this your today's program and uh, your one month uh, training. Uh, there is I think fees of hundred dollar for the students. Uh, 
with the, with, the, with a special to... offer of 50% discount also yeah 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 hmm. yeah that uh, because i have college also uh, there are, are almost uh, more than 100 students are there in uh, final year in my college they are doing bb and pcca that is bachelor of business administration and uh, become with uh, computer uh, application i am also doing the courses of national consumer promotion of urdu language uh, in uh, computer application and uh, business accounting and multilingual ddp so i just wanted to know okay i'll uh, i'll try that uh, my student can take this uh, courses this time because last time also i uh, send your message to my students but unfortunately they were not able to uh, connect you but i'll try this time that some student should uh, take this opportunity because it's really uh, the course just i gone through in your slide you have uh, told me i just saw the uh, your syllabus of uh, your i mean the 16 programs 16 period programs and in that i think it's a really, really very good course and if the students are doing uh, sincerely uh, they will be able to be uh, employable because it's rightly uh, said in your question also whether the education which we are imparting these days in universities or in the school or in colleges uh, they are not employed they are just uh, the completion of the syllabus and giving the examination uh, not the employable uh, studies not the employable education in our uh, the universities so this type of courses are really very good and they are helpful for the student to face the uh, to suffice all to make their resume and uh, do the interviews and uh, making themselves uh, ready for the presentation so i think if student took your program uh, i'll try my level best that some student should go uh, with your programs uh, if possible i'll also join because if i'll join your program uh, inshallah i can impart to my student in a bigger way yeah. so uh, i'll try myself also join today only i'll, I'll uh, register myself and i will also with wanted to join this because i want to i, I although i have taught uh, everything but uh, as uh, uh, as per our syllabus only and this is a different thing from the syllabus so i also wanted to know that how you are uh, um, i mean the teaching to the student for making the resume and everything so it's really very nice uh, uh, i mean your presentation inshallah i'll join and i'll try to make uh, join some my students also uh, so that they can get these benefits Uh, thirdly i just wanted to know whether after doing this some uh, uh, speakers who joined today's program that is there any uh, chances of getting jobs in uae on the maldives uh, whether they will help us because we are also doing uh, i mean the doing power manpower program for uh, nurses we are having the tie up with a germany company advectum and uh, we have already uh, in under training 25 students are under training and we are uh, we, we got already the, the job letter from job offer letter from them so is there any opportunity in uae also is there uh, possible that uh, some companies from the us uae they can have a tie up with us so that we can send uh, the right now the healthcare student the nursing student and the paramedical students are ready uh, with me for getting jobs so is there any possible then please uh, let me connect yeah, with sure. those people yeah so that i can um, give some uh, service yeah. to my yes. student thank you thank, thank you very, very much. much thank you very thank much you. mr zafar because that is a practical aspect without uh, without like uh, connecting with uh, connecting us with those people who are the in the field of uh, placement naturally uh, it is not going to be as beneficial as we are expecting so we are people we have the people and we will be connecting with them and then we will certainly Uh, let you know so that you can also connect with them thank you very much thank you mr zafar sure. so those who have not filled the form so far i am attach i am here uh, pasting again and again the form please fill the form so that you can be the part of this and uh, fozia do you have any question uh, ma'am my question is that only because as you know i have teaching background and also i have phd and uh, you know in geography and apart from that i have teaching experience in what are my uh, you know job possibilities are there in ue if i am applying in and which are the skills i require to me to know because what i have done ba and then i have teaching experience no doubt i have the school experience uh, for the past 25 years but what uh, else is required 
because uh, when i did my leadership program also along with you uh, recently only uh, just now we have completed in that also at the end i felt that digital you know somewhere i'm missing you know missing that uh, so fazia so, when so, we are going to have one to one inshallah you can just uh, write in the group that which time is suitable to you so that we can yeah. give you half an hour then in okay. one to one we will discuss with you your job prospects and what are the possibilities what are because the i have taken a break right now so yeah. mainly in the morning only my when my son goes to school maybe around from 9 to 10 or 9:30 to 10:30 is very suitable for me okay yes. fine you just write in the chat in the group so that i should remember and accordingly yes, yes, we will yes. make available okay thank yes. you very much thank you thank you thank you is there anyone else who wants to ask bilal do you have any question mudassir shadab sheikh kuch aapko question karna hai ah uh, sumaiya do you have any questions okay so thank you very much it means that everything was very clear we are going to uh, give the recording of this session uh, in the group so that you can go through and then you can be benefited by this thank you everyone for being with us and then next all the communication will be through the group please always watch the group messages lead house is your group i request again and again to everyone please watch all the messages in the group and then i wish you good luck and i hope that all thank the you. students of this group are going to be employed soon this is our prayer, prayer ah, inshallah thank you very much take care and good night everyone okay okay thank you good night good night